What's up, Brats? It's your girl, Brat Sims, and we are back for another video. Today, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Um, I got a couple of questions. Um, I've got these questions several times about how I make my thumbnails and how I can remove the background from my pictures and my, uh, my thumbnails and my sims and things like that. So I'm just going to show you what I use. Firstly, I use a program called GIMP. Now, let me bring this up here. Okay, so you just go to GIMP.org. GIMP is a free, yes, free, F-R-E-E, -E, free. Um, they call it a image manipulation program, but it's a free editing program and it is very similar to a Photoshop, which is amazing. It has a lot of awesome features and it makes it really easy to cut out your background of your images. And that's what I'm gonna be showing you how to do today. So again, you just go to gimp.org and it's completely free to download. And yeah, it is a really good program. Like I said, it has strong similarities to Photoshop, except for the free ski. Okay, we're just gonna move that out the way for now. And if you guys hear my daughter in the background, Ugh, forgive that she never wants to bother me like literally she never wants to bother me until I'm sitting at this computer okay anyways <laughs> first thing that you're going to want to do is just go to file and then we're going to get our image okay I'm just gonna go to my sims 4 folder go into the screenshots and I think we're going to go with this one. All right, now that we are here, we're going to go up to view. We are going to go to the zoom and then we're just gonna fit image in window. You can go to the menu or you can just, all right here it shows the keyboard um, shortcut. You can just shift curl J, but since we're already here, I'm just gonna click that. All right, now we are good to go. And this just helps you get kind of, um, I don't know, like a good view of what you need to cut out. So looks like we have this to cut out right here on both sides. And then we're gonna be cutting this. We're gonna be eliminating this whole brick background basically. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to want to do, we're gonna go to layer, transparency, and then we're gonna go to add alpha channel. I don't know if you guys noticed, but over here, you see how, let me just go to undo. I don't know if you can tell, but it's bold. And then when you add the alpha channel, let's go back to, to redo. And you see it's normal now, it's not bold anymore. That's how you know it's on and working and that the background can be transparent. All right, and then we're gonna go up here. It's already selected. Um, uh, for me, sometimes it's already selected right here, the free select tool. You just click that and then down here where it says mode, you're gonna click the very first one, which is replace the current selector. All right, then you're gonna hold down the curl button, the CTRL. You're gonna hold that down and then you're gonna take your mouse wheel and you're just gonna zoom in let the control key go on your keyboard and then uh, you can either use the little sliding bars to move it or you can push down on your mouse's wheel and move the image like that which to me it's a little bit easier if you just use the mouse instead of having to keep going over here so after you've zoomed in to the point where you like it and move the picture around where you like it as you can see, the lasso, the little lasso is what I call it, is attached to our mouse. That means it is, again, selected and ready to go. You're just gonna make your first point. Um, you can do this two ways. You can do the click method, which I like, and I'm gonna show you right now. You just click, and as you can see, it forms a little dot, and then a line behind it. And then you just, continuously click or you can hold down the mouse and it lets you draw 
as you can see it's just it'll let you draw blah 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 okay and then if you hit the backspace key it deletes like say if you messed up and you selected something that you weren't supposed to select you can just push the back key and it will erase all the previous points so right now I'm just going to as you can see I'm just going pushing down on my mouse wheel that way I can drag it that's why I say it's easier to use the mouse wheel to move the image instead of dragging like this and then coming over here doing this and it's just a lot easier to use the mouse wheel so I'm just going to outline my picture and I will be right back with you guys And as you can see, we're back at square one, and then we're gonna take our point here and we're gonna match it to the very first point that we made. And there we go. And then after we do that, we're just gonna hit enter. And there we go. Now we're just gonna go back up to view and then fit image to window, or again, you can just shift curl J. All right. So now you see we still have to get this the inside of the thing I mean I could have went ahead and did that but I wanted to show you guys um, how you can do that after you've already selected your image what you're gonna do is go back over here to the mode and we're gonna click the third one which is subtract from current selection click that and again curl zoom in let go and then we're going to select the inside now. Get back to the first one Then we're going to hit enter again. Okay. And then we're going to go over to the other side and do the same thing for this side. Okay, so what we're gonna want to do now, since I had the mic on mute for some reason, I accidentally pushed the button, but we're going to go up to, what was it? Sorry, select feather. It's automatically gonna say five, and that's usually what I go to go with. Uh, feather is just going to soften it, the cutout up. That way it's not so harsh and crisp. It's gonna kind of blend it a little bit. Just hit okay and it makes it nice and blended and not so crisp and harsh all right so now we're going to go up here to select and we're going to go to invert before I click invert you see how wait let me see you see how the edge or the um, the background the whole, the whole image is outlined in like a yellow kind of dotted line if you go to select and after we click invert as you can see it's now white and it's kind of moving kind of like this image is. that means now the background is selected so again we're going to go back up to the menu here we're going to go to edit and we're going to put clear and bam it deletes the background to your image and then we're gonna go up to select and we're gonna click on none that way it unselects it and there you go your background is removed and as you can see like the edges it doesn't look so harsh it looks ooh, excuse me it looks really nice and smooth I mean it's not perfect it doesn't have to be perfect but it looks pretty darn good and then after you're done with that, you're just going to want to go up to file and don't save, but go to export and uh, make sure that PNG is at the end because that's going to ensure that your background will remain transparent. 
because if you it doesn't say PNG at the end then it's going to save as a regular image and it's going to have a white background um, if it doesn't say PNG at the end you just go down here where it says select file type and then you're just going to scroll down until you see PNG which is right here PNG image um, if you want to save it as a different image you can even save it as a Photoshop image um, you can just save it as a regular JPEG image HTML I mean uh, gzip I mean you can GIF if you wanted to you can save it as whatever you want okay and then I'm gonna go ahead and name it we're just gonna call it Reggie because that's his name and then we're just going to export uh yeah i'll just go ahead and replace it because i did it i recorded it and then i had to re-record because it, it the menus these little menus were not showing up okay but anyways this little menu comes up and you just you're not going to really do anything with that i don't at least you just click export again and your image is saved now i again i'm not an expert in gimp i don't know all the things that you can do with gimp just yet because i I discovered it not too long ago like I said I was using that website that you can pay to remove your background like let me show you let me just open it up um, I think I still have it yeah remove.bg this is what I was this is what I was using at first and you just upload an image or uh, drag and drop the image and let me see um Let's see, let me go to the image we just did. You just add the image onto it. And then as you can see, it removed the background for you. But you have the option to download this, which is not great quality. And if you zoom in, it's just gonna look very distorted, etc., etc. Or you have the option to download at high res the full image, which is 1920 80 or 1920 1080. But as you can see, it costs credits. I have one credit left, but yeah, it costs credits um, to be able to download the the high quality image. And here are like the breakdowns of the prices. Um, at first, I was just buying the little nine dollar ten credits every once in a while and i was like this is kind of this is kind of expensive so i discovered gimp um here's the website again if you guys want to run out and download it it is gimp.org and i'm gonna show you this is a pixlr.com p-i-x-l-r.com that i use for now to do my thumbnails um, this is how it looks when it first comes up for me and then I just go ahead and click there allow create new image and then we're just gonna go with the uh, 1280 to 720 okay and then let's go to layer up here at the top open image as layer and then is this the one we cut out? I'm pretty sure it is. I'm pretty sure it is. Yes, it is. Okay. And then after it opens it up, you're just going to go up to edit, free transform. And then we're just going to fit and size it to our likings. Uh, let me make it a little bit bigger. And you see how when I make it bigger or smaller, like the quality doesn't change. And that's why I really love GIMP because it keeps the same quality. And then bam, then we're just gonna click out of it. And then when we do that, this comes up. Do you want to apply changes? Yes. And that is honestly how I do my thumbnails. Um, from here, I just add, um, I add text or I add some more little pictures. I add all types of things to 
make my thumbnail. Um, if you guys would like to see any other videos like this, go ahead and thumbs up this video and drop me a comment below if this has helped you. I hope it has helped somebody out there and I hope it did answer some questions that people were DMing me like on um, Facebook and on Instagram. Um, my Facebook uh, and my Instagram I think are going to be uh, linked down below and I will also link the Pixlr website and GIMP and if you want the remove background website I will go ahead and link that below also. And if you haven't became a brat yet, um, what are you doing? What are you waiting for? Go ahead and drop down below and hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that bell. That way you will be notified and you won't miss any of my videos because I'm I'll possibly upload some more how to's I got some things in mind that I want to do some ideas jotted down um, you, you can always drop me comments down below if you have questions or if you have a certain video that you want me to do or something you want me to show you how to do go ahead and drop that below again go ahead and hit that subscribe button and become a brat and hit the bell so you'll be notified when I upload and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!